Hello everyone, welcome back to Engineers Creations. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to make your own diploma certificate pillow. It is very easy. Um, you can do this a whole bunch of different ways. You could do it with vinyl, you could do it with sublimation, it's all up to you. But today I'm going to be showing you how I did it with HTV heat transfer vinyl and a Dollar Tree pillowcase. It is very easy and I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. So let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna be showing you the supplies that I'll be using today. But this is totally optional. Remember, I say this in all my tutorials. There is no right or wrong of the supplies that you want to use. You're going to make this however you would like. Now, I went to my Dollar Tree and I found some pillowcases at my Dollar Tree. This is a 20 by 30 pillowcase satin pillowcase for $1. Now, this is very budget friendly the way I'm going to show you. But you can find pillowcases at Walmart. And anywhere you want, you can find pillowcases. But today, again, you can't beat this for $1. So I'm going to be using this one. Now, you have the option, different options with this pillowcase. So I'm going to show you. I have one open here. This is how long this pillowcase is going to be. If you want to make a longer pillow that says class of 2020, you're just going to cut up your vinyl, I mean iron this first, and you could just put a regular um, standard size pillow, leave it th this big, and just put class of 2020, and you know, something really nice. But if you want like the ones that you put on your couches, like the um, decorative pillows, you are going to have to cut this. Now you have two different options as well. You could leave it like this, you don't have to cut the side, you could leave it like this, and just cut the long way, just cut it here, whatever size you want, and you could fill this up with polyfill. You can find a bag of polyfill at Walmart like for like $5. That's one option, okay? So you're just going to cut this with standard scissors or your um, cutting scissors, and you're going to cut it here and make it the, um, the size that you would want. You're going to put your vinyl, and then you stuff it with um, your polyfill. If you don't want it like that either, you can just get a decorative pillow from Walmart. I got this one for $7.88. And let me bring my phone up a little bit. I got this decorative pillow, $7.88. Um, and it was it's 18 by 18, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's an 18 by 18 pillow, and I got it from Walmart. Now, the only thing about this is if you're going to use a decorative pillow, um, then this pillowcase is going to be too big, and you're going to have to cut it in two different sides. So if I put it in here, right, I'm going to have to cut my, my pillowcase here, and I'm going to cut it here, which I am going to do that. If you don't want to put a decorative pillow inside, that is perfectly fine. All you're going to have to do is just cut... Um, the long side whatever size you would like like maybe leave it like 16 inches remember it's 20 inches that way so you could cut up to 16 inches or whatever size it's all up to you you're the creator here you cut it here then you're going to um turn it inside out your pillowcase you're gonna put your pillowcase inside out right so this is the inside out after you cut it let me fix it for you guys inside out let's say you cut it up to 16 inches let's say you cut it up to here sorry guys i just want to explain this so you don't feel like you can't do this let's say you cut it like this this side is going to be open you're going to sew it up if you don't know how to sew just hand sew if you don't know how to hand sew they do sell um fabric glue just uh glue it with fabric glue or even use hot glue if it's for your own use if you're giving this to one of your kids i mean they're not gonna this is not gonna go to the wash this is just decorative you, you can even hot glue it and but make sure you leave a little opening here so when you turn it again the right side you're going to have a small hole that after you put the vinyl you're going to stuff it okay and then you have a decorative pillow i'm not going to stuff this one i'm actually going to cut mines and i'm so i could use that decorative pillow that i have there 
So you have different options, okay? Don't feel intimidated. This is very easy. Again, if you don't know how to sew, you could hand sew it. If you don't know how to hand sew, hot glue or fabric glue. And let me show you the fabric glue. You can find this fabric glue on any craft store and also um, Walmart. This is a $10 at Walmart for this big bottle. Again, but remember, you have to put it inside out. If you're going to stuff it, you're going to put it inside out. Cut it the, left, the length that you want. You're going to glue or sew it and then leave a small space so you can stuff it, okay? But me... I'm going to cut it, like I said. And I'm probably repeating myself, but I just want I want to see y'all beautiful projects. If y'all haven't joined my crafting group, it is Angina's Creations Crafting Lounge. Go ahead and over there so you, I can see whatever you create. Now, I don't have no one in my family that has graduated, so this is literally just for tutorial purposes because I have gotten so many requests for this video. Um, so the way I'm going to do mine is, and I might have to move from my table because I want to show you guys how I'm actually going to do it. You can use, again, um, scissors, but I love this. Um, you know, the whole pandemic that is going around. So I was doing a whole bunch of masks. I did like over 150 um, face masks, and I still have some available if y'all would like to purchase any from me. But um, this is called Works, and this is on my Amazon. Check the description down below uh, for, so you can purchase one. This is a fabric cutter. This works wonders, and you don't have to be um, cutting with your scissors because my hands were really hurting. So all you have to do is you put your fabric through there, you press the button, and then it cuts straight, which I'm going to go ahead and over to the floor so um, y'all can see me better. Um, yeah, because right here on the table, you're not going to be able to see me. And then, like I said, this is 20 by 30. So I'm actually going to cut this um, 18 by 18. And then me, I'm going to have to sew that and that here. You don't have to do this part. If you're only, if you're pulling polyfill in here, you're just going to have to cut this side here, the length that you want your pillow, okay? So let me go ahead and over. Um, okay, you might need a ruler so you can know where to cut straight. If you have a cutting mat, like one like this or a regular gray cutting mat, that's going to be perfectly fine. If you don't have those stuff, guys, don't feel intimidated. Listen, just use a regular ruler. Use a measuring tape. Mark it with a pen. Uh, where's my measuring tape? Because I want everyone to be able to do this. I feel like sometimes people say, well, I can't do this. I can't do this. This is a regular measuring tape, okay? You can even find measuring tapes at your local Dollar Tree. Get a ruler, your child's ruler. Mark it with a pen, and that's it. Just mark it the size that you want. Again, but I'm, I'm going to cut mine to fit my decorative pillow that I got from Walmart. Okay, this is my cutting mat. Sorry if you see the cables, but I literally have my phone on the charger, and I'm recording late at night to get this video out. So I'm going to place my pillowcase here on my cutting mat. And I am going to use my elect my um, electric rotary cutter. And I'm going to cut this 18 by 18. So all I have to do is I have to put my fabric into here. And then I just press this button and cut straight. So again, 18 by 18. So I'm going to put it at the number 18 right here. Hold it. Put my fabric in there and then go straight to the 18. Okay. Once I do that, you can leave it like this if you're going to use polyfill. You're just going to have to turn it inside out. If you don't know how to sew, you can sew it by hand. Or you're going to use your fabric glue and use fabric glue up to here and then leave a hole. So when you turn it again inside out, you're going to put your vinyl and then you stuff it, okay? You first have to put your vinyl before you add your pillow and your stuffing. But because I am using the decorative pillow, I need to cut this 18 by 18 like I explained before. So I still need to cut that side as well. So I have it the other side. And you can use hot glue. Don't feel like you can't do this. If you just want to practice, go ahead and use your hot glue. So again, I'm going to cut this at 18. Make sure it's straight. If you don't even have one of these, just use a ruler, okay? If you 
you don't have one of these, use a pair of scissors as well, okay? I'm done cutting mines. So now what I have to do is I have to put mines inside out. And I'm actually going to sew mines with a sewing machine. Make sure I pin it and use a sewing machine again. If you don't have a sewing machine, use the resources that you have. Don't feel like you can't do this. Um, I don't know if I told you guys that I will be using um, vinyl. I'm going to be using um, black and gold vinyl. The brand is Sizer Easy Weed. That's the vinyl that I like to use. But use the vinyl of your choice. Now let me start sewing this up and then show you how it's looking, okay? Just in case y'all are going to be sewing or you want to know what kind of sewing machine I have, I have a Singer Fashion Mat 5560. I am, no, none, I am not a professional sewer, trust me guys. I've only been sewing since last October. I try my best, you know. All I do know is match your thread with your fabric. So I am going to change my thread to white. I'm just going to sew this right here, sew it up. I'm not even gonna pin it, I'm just gonna hold it right here. If you was adding polyfill at the end of here, you will put your needle down and then you will lift this up and then turn this the other way. Sorry, my scissors fell. And then you will sew also this other side and leave a hole. But because I am going to insert my pillow, I can't, I'm going to have to leave this entire side like this and then I'll come back and sew it up, okay? So I'm actually done with this side and then I'm going to see how my pillow actually fits. Okay, I put it inside my decorative pillow and it does fit perfectly. Now I'm going to, I hope I'm not getting y'all confused. I apologize. I'm going to turn it again inside out. And I'm actually going to sew just a little bit on the open side. Because I noticed that I can fold my decorative pillow. Fold it really, really tight and then put it in a hole. So I'm actually going to sew a little bit of this side and a little bit of this side. Leaving a hole in the middle of my pillowcase okay and i'll show you once i'm done if you are a beginner sewer don't forget to back backstitch on the end of your stitches okay so backstitching means you go back and forth to secure your stitch okay all right this is how it's looking so i sewed both sides but i did leave an opening right here so i sewed that part all the way down and then i came this way and i came this way and i left this hole here so that's where my pillow is going to go but you do not insert your polyfill or your pillow onto we design what you, your design with your htv you're going to cut it out you're going to weed out your design and then we're going to heat press this which i am going to show you how to design your own um diploma design okay so this is how it's looking and we do have to iron this all right that's how it's looking so let's head on over and design my, the stuff on the computer. Okay, I'll be using Silhouette Studio. If you have Cricut Design Space, I can't help you because I have never used Cricut. But in Silhouette Studio, I do have Business Edition. You can use this, the Basic Edition, but you do need a cutting machine because you do need to cut your vinyl with a cutting machine. Once you open up your software, you are going to go to your page setup, which is the paper icon on your right. You're gonna click on there, and then where it says media size, make sure that you have the size that you're going to be using. I'm going to be using 12 by 12 vinyl, so I have it on 12 by 12 size. So this is the size of vinyl that I'll be using. Depending on how you cut your um, pillowcase, that's how you're going to measure how big of design you want i want my design to be 12 by 12 so this is what i'm going to be using you can go to the font.com and download a free font um so i know one of the fonts everyone's using is ancient fonts again you got i have a whole tutorial on how to download free fonts from the font once you download your font you're going to click on the a on your left 
then go to the A on your right. You're going to click on the font that you want to use. Me personally, just for tutorial purposes, I'm going to be using the font called Print Valiant. I'm going to put it right here on the screen. I'm going to click on that font. I'm going to go to my fill panel that looks like the pink palette, and I'm going to click on the color black. I'm going to click anywhere on my screen, and then I'm going to start typing. Now, if you don't have the actual diploma on your hand, then go to Google and just look up a template. You're going to right click, you're going to copy, you're going to go to silhouette, you're going to right click, and you're going to paste this. And then you could um, use this as a reference as to see how you, how you want to type your words, okay? So you could use this right here as a reference. Now I do have business edition. That's how I could copy and paste. If you don't have business edition, you do have to save this to your computer. And then you're going to go to file. Then you're going to go to merge and bring in this bring this in here but if you have your child or whoever you're gifting this to if they send you a picture of their certificate you could just copy um, how their certificate looks again I'm gonna click on the A on my left click on the A on my right click on the font that you want to use go to your fill panel that looks like a paint palette I'm gonna click on the color black so you could be able to see it and then from here you're going to start typing how you want your design to look um, Again, because this is tutorial purposes, I'm just going to use my kids' um, school. Now, as you can see, that this is curved. The way to curve your font in silhouette, let me make this a little bit bigger because I do want to use the full 12 by 12. You're going to go over to your left. You're going to grab the circle shape and then you're going to make this. You could just paint this. I'm going to leave it black for now. Uh, maybe red so y'all could be able to see it. Make it as big as you can. Now you're going to double click on your font until you get this cursor right here. Let me zoom in. So you're going to have this circle here. You're going to select that with your mouse and bring it down to touch your circle. Once it touches the circle, your font is going to curve. Once you're satisfied how it looks, let it go. You're going to click on your font, right click, and click where it says make compound path. Then remove this circle, delete on your keyboard, and then you have your font that is curved, okay? Now let me zoom out. You're going to go back to the A on your left, A on your right. Click on the font you want to use. Click anywhere on your screen and start typing. Unselect this so it could get off edit mode, and you're going to make this a little bit tiny smaller and place it where you want to be. And then just keep on typing all the words that you want to do and place them how you want. Again, you're going to click on the A on your left, A on your right, and then on type. Let me fast forward this video. If you are typing and you see that this is going like this, right here when you're in edit mode, just pull this green line like this. And then you're able to put everything on one line. Unselected. Then you're going to go back to the A on your right and right here center it and make it smaller.
now you can see if you zoom in all this has red lines so just click on here anywhere on your screen drag it over your mouse and on your line panel on your right under the fill panel there's like lines it's called the line style panel click right here on the line color and click on no color the no color looks like a little square with like dash lines click on that so then all your line colors will get off so you can see it perfectly how it looks now my biggest worry is this tiny words and I'm gonna be using vinyl and I'm just gonna try to make it bigger because weeding is going to be terrible with these tiny words Alright, hopefully it's not that bad. You already know how the weeding process goes when there's so many little lines. And I know some people like to add the seal of your diploma. You're just going to go to Google, look up high school diploma seal, and then you're going to right click it, copy, go to silhouette, right click and paste. And I'm just going to... Um, trace this because I just want the outer uh, circle design I'm gonna go to my trace panel is one two three is uh, the icon number five on your right is called the trace and you're gonna click select trace area you're gonna make a square or rectangle around your design you're going to wait till it turns all yellow Right here where it says threshold, put your threshold all the way up until it turns all yellow. And then I'm, I'm just going to click where it says trace outer edge. I'm going to click on that. Wait to a trace. I'm going to remove this. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to color it yellow for now. But I am going to be cutting this out of gold vinyl. And then that is going to go right here. like that and you are completely done now don't forget that before you cut anything out of HTV go over this make sure you spelled everything correctly I'm going to select everything here I'm going to right click and I'm going to click flip horizontally everything has to be cut like this you're gonna go over to your send panel all the way on your top right right here where it says material you're going to select your um, vinyl, your settings. So I'm going to go and click on vinyl. And then I'm going to click where it says cut. It says no cut, cut, and cut edge. I'm going to click on cut. Make sure you select everything here. And then click on cut. I click on cut and then you're just going to send this to cut on your, let me turn on my machine. And then you're just going to click right here, send. You're going to load your vinyl shiny side down on your mat. And Okay, don't forget to put your vinyl shiny side down on your mat. This is the shiny side, it has to be shiny side down. You're going to load your mat, aligning it to your machine. Make sure your rollers are locked. Make sure your rollers are on your groove. You're going to load it, and then you're just going to click send. Oh, wait, hold on, guys. You're just going to click send on your computer so it could start cutting, okay? All right, once it unloads, all you have to do, this is called a weeding process. You have to take off all the excess vinyl off. So you go from there, from the corner. I got this too from Harbor Freight. You could get even dental picks from Dollar Tree. You could use an X-Acto knife. You can use anything of your choice. So you're going to carefully peel all the excess. And then you're also going to take off all the middle of each word. And I'm going to speed this process up.
Okay, I am done weeding all the stuff. And then this is my heat press. If you don't have a heat press, feel free to use an iron. Um, I'm just going to put this right under my heat press so I can take all these wrinkles off. And I have a 15 by 15 swing away heat press. I'm just going to press it for a couple of seconds to take all them wrinkles off. All right, once you're done taking all your wrinkles off, you're going to place this part in the center of your pillow, wherever you want it to be. Just center it. Make sure everything's straight. press on 380 for 24 seconds but I'm just gonna press it like for five seconds I'm not gonna press it all the way and um, use a Teflon sheet I already have a Teflon sheet on top of my heat press I'm gonna bring it over push this all the way in I'm just gonna press like for five seconds once I'm done pressing for five seconds I'm gonna slowly peel this off And then I'm going to put the gold little thing, the seal. I'm going to put it in the bottom. Make sure you also center this wherever you want it. Be careful that you don't burn yourself. and then press this like for like five seconds all right press it i'm gonna remove the backing the, the coat the plastic film and then i'm going to press all of this for like 10 more seconds the entire thing and then we're gonna be done here and then we're going to put the pillow inside so i'm just gonna press each side Remember, uh, I have my Teflon sheet here. I'm going to press 10 seconds and then the other part. All right, this is how the pillowcase is looking. And now I'm going to put the pillow inside from here. And I'm, I'm going to sew um, the opening. Again, if you don't know how to sew, I tell this a million times. Just put some fabric glue or just hand sew it. So I'm going to put the pillow in here and I'm going to finish sewing this. And I'm going to show you the final result. All right, here is the final result. I just added a tassel with a little bit of, I just um, sewed it with a thread by hand on the top there. That's optional, you don't have to do that. But here it is, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to get notified when I upload all my other videos. If you haven't um, followed me yet in my Andrina's Creations Crafting Lounge, that is a crafting group that I have. If you uh, try this pillow out and you would like to show me what you make, please go ahead and over there and join the group. Um, also follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Andrina's Creations. And if you want to email me, my email is andrinascreations at yahoo.com. Again, I would love to see all your creations. Give this a try. This is not hard at all. I don't know if I said it before, but if you don't want to go through all this and the sewing and stuff like that, they do sell decorative pillow covers that you can just get that and just customize it. You don't have to do no sewing stuff, but I figured like I could give this inexpensive way to make your own. It's not hard, guys. Just go ahead and try it. And again, I hope everyone's having a blessed day. And I'll see y'all on my next tutorial. Bye-bye.